is in my aunt's garden. In her garden. And she has the legal rights to sell the rights to that spring water. It's all about the rights. To whichever company she chooses. Uh, but, Angela, she does not have the rights to grant access to the water company's tankers. That's right. You're wrong. She's not wrong. She's right. Angela, they've already started moving in as if they own the place. Earlier, I was almost run over by one of their trucks. You can't block my aunt's commercial rights. Now, it seems to me, if I can interject here, Get on with it! As a parish council, we are still split on whether to grant access through the village to the water company's tankers. Oh, and once again, we're being chaired by Robert Struthers from the Institute for State and the Bleeding Obvious. We are only split, Robert, because you haven't voted yet. And you've got the casting vote here. Indeed I do. So what decision have you come to? I will consider overnight and I will inform you all in the morning. Are you the gentleman that called 999? Yes. What happened, Mr. Allen? Got up early to walk the dog. I found him lying here. Well, who is he? He's Robert Struthers, the chairman of the parish council. His head's been smashed in. Roy, my darling. I'm just off to the pub. How are you? We've had a call, Aggie, from your neck of the woods. A firm called Ankham Water needs some local PR to deal with a bit of negative publicity. So? Well, we're a bit um, snowed under at the moment, mm. and I thought you might like a little free lunch job. No. It'll just be a week, well paid, and I'll get lots of brownie points for bringing you in. No, Roy. The only points I am interested in tonight are at the pub quiz. James has asked me personally to be on his team. Will you at least think about the PR job? I already have. The answer is no. Evesham police are investigating the suspicious death of Robert Struthers. In a macabre Sorry, twist, I'm he late. Was found dead Shh. from head injuries. At his Here it is. On the day he was due to rule on whether to grant access to the Ancom Water Company to bottle the water. Ancom Water Company? Shh. Yourself. Ron Allen. It was its old shop. I've had personal relations with the corpse for the past 60 years. He's going to regret that phrase when he hears it back. This is Sean Ferguson. Sounds like murder to me. Large glass of Pinot Grigio, please. You should get your detective out on, Agatha. There's been bad blood between Ron Allen and Robert Struthers for years. They hated each other. Well, I've had quite enough of getting involved with murders. Thank you very much. What time does the quiz start? Any minute now. Good. Fancy another, Jean? So, the parish council would have broken up at about 9.30. And what time is the body discovered? 6.30 in the morning. Oh. You quizzing tonight as well, Mary? Oh, um, I'm sorry, Agatha, but I'm afraid you're going to have to be on a team on your own. James is press going me into doing some detecting about the murder. Oh, you don't mind, do you? Struthers was an acquaintance of sorts. I Seems only right that I should try and get to the bottom of this. I think he just wants a secretary, actually. <laughs> How do you know it was murder? How do you know he didn't just fall over and bang his head on a large rock? Well, that's what we're going to try and find out. Good luck with the quiz. Listen up, everybody. Oh. Round one is microwaved meals you can buy in the village shop. Which brand of lasagna contains only 5% meat and can be found in the left-hand side of the freezer? Roy, about that job in Ancom. I forgot you were always late for pitch meetings. Rule number one. Always make the client think you're far too important for them. It's how Sun Tzu said you should command armies in the art of war. Or you could just try being on time and being nice to people. Hello, Agatha Raisin and Roy Silver here to see Guy Fremont. All right, this way. Sorry for the mess. We only got possession of these offices yesterday. It's a natty little jacket, Mrs. Raisin. My grandmother's got one of those. Mr. Fremont is in here.
And why don't the police say? Well, of course murder affects us. I'm trying to launch a health product. Guy, I get the raisin Roy Silver, PR. OK, thanks, Portia. Look, um, I've got to go. I'll speak to you later. Cheers. Was Robert Struthers murdered? <sighs> Not even my local press contacts can find out. Give me DC Bill Wong. Well, you have got one big problem, Mr Fremont. I've got more than one. With the parish council unable to decide, there's going to be a public meeting tonight on whether to grant access to your trust. Yeah, I know. So I have arranged for us to speak at this meeting. If you don't win this vote, nothing else matters. Hi, Bill. Bear with Aggie. One sec. Was it murder at Ankham? Well, we're not releasing that information yet, Agatha. Oh, just tell me, Bill. Yes. Forensics can prove that he was killed elsewhere and his body dumped by the spring. But... And if you do win the vote, you have then got to cope with marketing a product from a spring with a murdered body in it. This is a disaster. No, this is an opportunity, Guy. We need to capitalise on the media attention around this murder and launch as quickly as possible. Well, uh, we've, um, we've had an idea of how to launch, haven't we, Portia? We're going to have a party on a boat on the Thames. <laughs> Well, that's a terrible idea. Was it yours? We need to emphasise wholesomeness, everything that is desirable about the Cotswolds, and we need to have a perfect village fete in Ancombe itself. Will you get London journalists up for that? We, we will if we get the Rosie girls to play a gig at the fete. You can get the Rosie girls. Two of them are from the Cotswolds. They've got a very wholesome image. Perfect for you. We need to move quickly. We need to launch while Ancombe is still in the news. And we need to have a huge celebrity party just to get all the locals on side. Great. Barry. When do we start? 7.30 tonight. At the village meeting. I shall see you there. everyone. Robert, <clears throat> we will miss you. Uh, now, please. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I moved here from London. Why don't you go back there? Why don't you leave me alone, you shrew? I moved here from London last year to get away from choking traffic and um, flight paths. The point is, Heavy goods vehicles aggravate asthma, emphysema, and uh, cancer. Now, I appeal to you, democratically, to vote against these vehicles and for the Cotswolds way of life. Bravo. Well said. Come on, love. Please, you must say something. Rabina Toynbee. Julia, the thing is, it's not a democracy, love. It just isn't. The water is mine to sell. Yeah. Of course it is. Agatha Raisin, Ancombe Water Company. Uh. Thank you. I've got a question for everyone. Would it make a difference if the water was taken from the well by seven o'clock every morning? No, why would that make a difference? So as not to disturb <laughs> village life. So that from seven every morning, the spring and the roads are there for everyone. <laughs> because that's what Guy Fremont's offering. Guy. Thanks. Guy Fremont Hello. also aims to launch Ancom Water at a village fete, showcasing all that is good and healthy about this beautiful place, your crafts, your, your farm foods, a fete that will attract the attention of the entire country and bring money flooding into your pockets. <laughs> and also featuring a performance by the Rosie Girls. Oh, gee. Oh, we like them. So come along, everyone. Let us vote to put this petty bickering behind us and shine a light on all that is good. So all those in favour of granting access to the water company, let's have a show of hands. Thank you.
I'll, I'll let you go. What are you doing here, Mrs. Rayton? Working for the water company, Mr. Wilkes. Mm. As long as that's all it is. And what are they doing here? Asking nosy questions about the murder. Who said it was murder? No one. Mm. <clears throat> He's got this new strategy that he saw on an episode of Morse. He's not declaring it's murder. And he's keeping the forensic evidence quiet, hoping to catch the killer. What forensic evidence? Well, we think someone ran a vacuum cleaner over Robert Struthers after he died. A vacuum cleaner? Yeah. He was spotless, apart from... ...a white Persian cat hair. <laughs> You were amazing, Agatha. You were fantastic. You were fantastic. I cannot tell you how many months I've been trying to get a decision out of them. And you walked up there looking gorgeous. Did I? Yeah, you look gorgeous and you got it through. You're awesome. Sorry. Oh, that's OK. Uh, no one minded. <laughs> one more. What if we solved this murder together, you and me? The publicity it would get would be astronomical for the firm. And free. No, Agatha, this murder's really shaken me up. If there wasn't so much of my brother's money invested, I'd walk away. Beginning to wish I'd never got involved in the first place. Your brother? Yeah, I've got three older brothers out in Hong Kong. They run this firm of traders out there, really successful. They're funding the water company for me. So, as my heartless PR, I appreciate what you're saying, but uh, let's leave it to the police. OK. Um, do you... Um, I'm just going to say it. Would you like to come in for a drink? <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I'm not going to. So I probably want to come in a little bit too much. on the savannah, it's eat or die. She has to eat to provide for her children. What? We need to investigate this murder, Jim. Oh, that's Mrs. Jakes, that is. My great, 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 no, hang on. My great, 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 great ancestor who first channeled the spring through the wall for the benefit of the village poor. How many greats? Six. Now, of course, every family in the village is poor, unless you come from London. <laughs> That's why Angela and Andy wanted to find a buyer for the water. Was it their idea? Oh, yes. And I don't even like them both very much. Now, I hear there was an argument at the parish council the night Robert died. Oh. There was always a ding-dong at the council. R Robert could never make a decision. Did you know which way he was going to vote? Uh, 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 Robert was going to vote for us, wasn't he, love? He had told you as much after the meeting. Why are you asking, Mrs Raiden? 
just trying to work out if there was any truth to the rumour that Ron and Robert hated each other. Well, is there any truth in the rumour around the village this morning that Robert was murdered? Yeah, that's what we heard, yeah. Listen, we don't for a second think that Ron murdered him, but he'd hated him ever since they were kids. They both fell in love with the same girl. Who married Robert. Because he had more money. Mm. Does Ron have a Persian cat? You're the second person who's asked about Persian cats this morning. Who's the other one? Oh, that Mary Fortune. Oh. Oh. Mr. Allen. What's that? That is a visual impression of an individual we believe played a pivotal role in the murder of Robert Struthers. Murder? Yes. Are you sure? Are you all right, Mr. Allen? You'll have to sit down. Be careful now. Just try and breathe slowly. I just can't believe that. Do you know this individual? No. Ron, can you tell us of your movements after the Paris Council broke up? Well, I came back here, went to bed, got up at six in the morning to walk a dog, like I always do. Is that it? Yes. Izzy's the reason I moved out here. Why? She had chronic asthma when we were in London. Oh, because of the traffic. She's certainly not as bad out here. So, is that why you spoke up against the trucks? These businesses don't care who they walk over. They just want to make money. My husband and I live apart during the week, all so that Izzy can grow up in the fresh air. And now we're going to have to move, again. How do you think Robert Struthers would have voted if he hadn't died? He told me, straight after the meeting, that he was going to vote against the trucks. Talk for long? Five minutes. I had to be back by 10 o'clock for the babysitter. One of these groups must be lying. Robert wouldn't have told both he was going to vote with them. Yes, I thought of that yesterday, actually. And the Buckleys is the only alibi that's solid because it's we It's rock know... solid, yes, because they had to get back and lock up the pub. <laughs> Just what I was going to say. Why don't we ask those girls who the babysitters are in the village? Well, then we can we find can out... We can confirm if Julia got back at 10 like she said she did. Gosh, I am good at this. <sighs> Come on, Watson. Why am I Watson? Why can't I be Holmes? So we've got 37 journalists and TV crews, all confirmed, 32 of them from entertainment. For the Rosie Girls? Yes, but they will be performing in front of the company's logo, so the product will get plenty of attention. Uh, I've also sent complimentary supplies to top London hotels and local pubs within 50 miles. I think you're going to get international coverage as well, so when you expand into those markets, you're already going to be way ahead of the game. Are you even listening to me? No. I was thinking about our kiss. What are you doing? Uh, put, put in the bin bag out. I've got some fresh coffee on. Come on. Ah, oh, did you see Guy Fremont stay the night? Did he? Oh, just imagine the pillow talk between those two. God, I was good. Yeah, so was I. <laughs> Ankham water, as fresh and natural as the Rosie girls. Bottle the same day as it is sourced from a spring deep beneath the Cotswold Hills. Uh, are you going to put in a science bit? Yes, I am going to put in a science bit. 
full of minerals. So oh! What? What do you mean, what? What, Jim? I'm working. Oh, village is talking about how Mr. Ransom stayed over last night. How does the whole village know? Oh, because I think they stayed up all night to see what time <laughs> he left. Uh, Mrs. Joseph says congrats. Um, Reverend Bloxby said, oh, maybe she'll relax a bit now. Nothing like a bit of <laughs> sex to set you right. Is there no privacy anymore? Yeah, but don't worry about that. I mean, he's gorgeous, isn't he? I know. He is. He's gorgeous. No, no. He's gorgeous. I know. He's <gasps> absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> I'm still here, you know. Everybody listening, one o'clock, we'll get the journals out of the pub and we'll lead with your speech in the marquee, okay, guys? Yeah, okay. And then outside into the sun, where the Rosie Girls will perform two songs. Through the stalls of local wares. Where Ankh and Water will feature prominently. And accompanied by a jolly band of Morris dancers who will parade to the Wellspring, where Mrs Toynbee will give a short speech on the history of the spring. That won't go on, will it? I've told her if it's more than two minutes, I shall turn off her microphone. Mr Fremont! Can we have a word? Would you like to come and see how we've decked out our pub? Do I have to? Yes, and nicely. Local relations matter now. Portia, you come with me. Aggie, you know the pub is in a huge amount of debt. The brewery were going to foreclose on the Buckleys this week, but they've given them some extra time to see if business picks up with the water deal going through. Roy, I should be with Guy. Aggie. I can't think about murder at the moment, Roy. I. I just want this to go well. You know who had the most to lose from Robert voting against access? Yes. Uh, the Buckleys. Guy Fremont, who I reckon could be a bit dodgy. Don't you think jealousy clouds the judgment of a detective? Why? Why would I be jealous? Huh. <gasps> it's our number one suspect. Why have you lied about your alibi on the night of Robert Struthers' death? I haven't. Oh, don't you lie to me, girl. Your babysitter, um, uh, Gail uh, Brewer, said you got home four hours later than you told the police. What does it matter to you? What are you accusing me of? Well, what gives you the right to come to my house and accuse me of what? Murder? Hmm. Is that right? Yeah. In front of my daughter. Come on, Mary. I'll be giving this evidence to the police and they'll want to know where you are. Thank you for supper. My pleasure. I can't cook anything English, but having grown up in Hong Kong, I'm your go-to man for Chinese. <laughs> Thought about you all day. You haven't. You thought about the launch and whether it's going to go well. <laughs> well, yeah. The launch. And then you. And then the launch. And then you. And now I know nothing's going to go wrong with the launch. It's all you. Come to bed. Leave it. Come to bed. Aggie, open the door! Disaster. When did this story break? Late last night. I did try calling you, but you weren't picking up. Have they pulled out the launch? Of, of course, course they, they pulled, pulled out. out, as have all of our London and entertainment journalists. How many are coming? Oh, uh, one, two, three, five, none. Can we get another act? Local 
Cotswold Talent. Uh, and now Guy Fremont. Thank you. Thanks. Um, Ancom Water is a new company built on solid foundation. Icky to open it! I'm going to keep this short. Guy, guy, just do, do, do. It's all right. Uh, I'd like to say we are very proud to be the official sellers of water from the Ancom Spring. Thank you. I think it's stopping. Is it? Right, come on, everybody. Time for the parade to the spring. Morris men, get jolly. Mrs. Raisin, you need to call off the parade. Why? A group of hunt saboteurs are planning to block the street. Hunt saboteurs? Well, that's what they usually do, but... They're a renter mob for anyone who wants to stop commercialisation of the countryside. No, what they are, Mrs Raisin, is a vicious bunch of ne'er-do-wells. So in the interest of public safety... No, no amount of unwashed scumbags is going to stop the climax of this launch. I have promised Robina that I will be there at the well to hear her speech. So, come on everyone, get up and have some more water. through to the spring, lady. We're here to protest against commercialisation of the countryside. Oh, grow up. Go home and have a wash. Just get out of the way. You're not coming through, love. Get your hands off yeah, her. Come on, stop oh, that. Oh, stop oh, jostling oh, Agatha. What are you going to do about oh. it? Oh. 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 That's enough. Oh. Everyone, oh. calm down. Look, Water have been held in the family of Rubina Toynbee for the last four centuries. Aggie. Oh God. Oh God. How many of these did she receive? We found three. She must have been incredibly brave to have wanted to go through with her speech. We're all four parish councillors at Thank your you. launch this afternoon. Yes, you saw them. They were there from one o'clock. And none of them left? No, I banned them from leaving until I was finished. Agatha, this seems to be a copy of the speech Mrs Toynbee was going to make at the well. It was found on her desk. Can I have a look at that first, please, Constable? It says she's talking to her solicitor about withdrawing the water rights. 
a shame. Because she was scared by the hate mail. Yes, but more importantly, who knew that she'd changed her mind? Well, there is no doubt now Robert was murdered. I can't believe Auntie's dead. I feel like we caused all this, Andy. Why didn't you spare us the crocodile tears, Angela? What? Mary, now is not the time. I think your aunt was about to change her mind about selling the water, wasn't she? And you killed her because you're about to lose the pub and you're desperate for money. I don't care about the money now. This is terrible, what's happened! Who cares if we lose the pub now? That's enough, Mary. You and Andy murdered those people in cold blood, Angela. No, hang on! I didn't! And you're about to go to prison for a long, 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 long time. Enough! Do you not know people, lady? This isn't some murder parlour game you're in the middle of. This is real. People here might argue with the parish council, but we are not murderers. That's enough, Ron. You take your stupid notebook and get out of here, both of you, and don't come back. You right? I feel as if I took my eye off the ball. If I had investigated the first murder properly instead of getting distracted by the launch, Rubina might still be alive. It's not your fault, darling. But I'm good at investigating, Guy. Or well, better than I am at PR now, anyway. The launch wasn't your fault either. <laughs> Will I see you tonight? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, dear. What have you hurt? Only my pride. <laughs> Never going to live down being beaten up by a Morris dancer. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you find it funny. Why were you lot here? Your charge sheet is all about preventing cruelty to animals, foxes, lab rats. Why demonstrate against a water company? We were paid to spoil the launch, weren't we? Who by? Mrs Owen! Mrs Owen! Mrs. Owen, may we have a word? Uh, it, it's past Isabel's bedtime. I really must be getting inside. Mrs. Owen, the hunt saboteurs told us that you'd paid them to disrupt the launch. Is that true? I didn't want it to be easy for the water company. I thought if the launch ended in chaos, no one would want to buy the water. Is that why you sent Rabina those threatening letters? Yeah, we don't know that for sure. It's a hunch. Yes. I just wanted to scare her. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry she's died. Why didn't you get home before 2am on the night Robert died? Good question. After the meeting, I drove to London. I'd been suspecting my husband had a girlfriend. And I was right. I found them together. You can ask them. He's never going to join me and Isabel in Ancombe. I don't think he ever intended to. you like it? Oh, make yourself at home. Can I talk frankly to you? I don't know. Can you? I want you to stop seeing Guy. <laughs> and since when does who I spend the night with have anything to do with you? Since you've spent the night with my boyfriend of the last two years. I didn't know. We've been together since Hong Kong. Occasionally he strays, often with an older woman. Because he has a thing for them, but uh, 
I'm honest, I thought I was quite safe with you. Maybe his standards are dropping. Hey, listen, sister. I do not go around stealing other people's men. He doesn't behave like he's with you. So how would I have known? And if you have got any respect for your own skinny little ass, you do not stick with a man who occasionally strays. Now, what on earth is a woman like you doing in a relationship like that? Because he's rich. Don't go near him again, old lady. John? James, Lacey, listen, a bit of a strange one. When you were in Hong Kong, did you have any dealings with the Fremont brothers? Oh, good. Um, it was actually the youngest one that I'm interested in. Did you, did you know him? What? This is Guy we're talking about. Good evening. Portia was here half an hour ago. Ah. Guess you won't be wanting these then. We'll talk about it later. But she marched in here, she sat down on my sofa. And look what she left. Is she getting grey or something? Well, that's a cat here. Does Portia have a Persian cat? Portia, no. <laughs> well, she must have. No, she just. <laughs> yeah, hang on. a month or so ago, she looked after a cat for an old college friend. It's a big white thing, molted all over the apartment. So Robert Struthers must have been in her flat the night that he died. Why would Portia kill him? Well, maybe she knew that Robert Struthers was going to vote against the trucks. And because she loves you. She wants you to succeed. Maybe she knew that Robina had been scared into changing her mind about selling the rights. Well, we should call the police. Yes, we should. If you knew she'd had a Persian cat in her flat, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> One word, and I will kill you. <laughs> Struthers came to Bristol that night because he wanted to explain his decision to you like a gentleman. We met in Portia's flat. He wasn't there. When he told me he was going to vote against, I struck him. And then I had to dispose of him. <laughs> And then that old cow called me last night and she said she'd changed her mind and was going to try and withdraw the rights. <laughs> so I had to dispose of her too. <laughs> just, 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 just. <laughs> and now I have to dispose of you. <laughs> Mr. Fremont. Hi, lads. I'm in a bit of a rush, I'm afraid. Can I just ask you a few questions about why you left Hong Kong? Sure. Another time? No. How about now? I spoke to a friend this afternoon who said that there was a rumor that a woman you were seeing was found dead in your apartment. Yes. Yeah, there was a terrible burglary. 
What's the name of your friend? He said the story was that there wasn't a burglary, but that your brothers bribed the police to look the other way so that they could get you out of the country before you could be charged. What did you say the name of your friend was? What's that banging? <laughs> <laughs> I missed everything. It all happened right under my nose, and I was just so flattered by his attention. And... It was not your fault. And you're all right. That's all that matters. There's only consolation. You're a much better detective than Mary. She's accused almost everyone in Ankham by now. You happy with her? Sometimes I am. Maybe. We'll just see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Give it some time. Mm -hmm. You're going to be all right tonight? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gemma's coming round with Kira. I don't really want to be alone. Who does, Agatha? Like 